first we have to select a mechanical part design select a plane which you want to sketch go to the sketch workbench we have to draw a circle here so select a circle now draw the circle give the corresponding dimensional constraints based upon your requirement then click ok after specifying the dimensions then exit the workbench apply the pad definition for the circle give the required amount of thickness based upon your requirement then select a mid plane go to the sketch workbench here we have to use a project element so select a corresponding surface to project element exit the workbench you have to go for just hide the unwanted planes now the project element is visible here just go to the start and select a mechanical design just select a wireframe and surface design go to the insert we have to select a wireframe and select a helix here after selecting a helix we have to specify the starting point of helix curve and then we have to specify the axis for the helix curve specify the pitch and height of the curve based upon your requirement you have to increase the pitch value at the maximum based upon your requirement then just go for mechanical design and go for pod design now we are going to create a plane which is normal to the helix curve so select a normal to curve plane just select a curve and end point then click ok select a plane go to the sketch workbench now we have to draw the profile which is normal to the helix curve so select a circle and draw the circle here then apply the geometrical constraints and dimensional constraints based upon your requirement so select a midpoint of circle and the end point of helix curve apply the geometrical constraint as a coincident then click ok just exit the workbench now we are going to just hide the unwanted planes then go to the slot definition here so select a slot definition select our corresponding profile with center curve then click ok now the slot is created here now we are going to apply the transformation features so go to the insert select a transformation features and select our circular pattern select our parameters as a complete crown select a number of instances to be produced and select a reference element as a cylindrical face make sure the object to be pattern is slot 1 after that we have to apply the chamfer so just use the dress up feature as a chamfer definition select all edges of slots for apply the chamfer specify the length for chamfer definition here select all the edges for up in the chamfer definition just click ok one by one we have to apply the chamfer definition here now the shape of drill bit is partially achieved then we have to select a mid plane select a plane go to the sketcher workbench 
now we need to draw a profile here before that we have to just fit to window and go for select a polyline and draw the profile as a closed profile then exit the workbench now we are going to apply the groove definition here for the corresponding drawn profile so select a groove definition in a sketch base future you have to select a profile which we drawn previously select our corresponding center axis just click ok now our groove definition is successfully applied here now we are achieving the drill bit shape successfully then we have to apply the material for the drill bit for a good appearance so select the apply material give the corresponding material based upon your requirement to get the regular updates of my video please subscribe in my channel don't forget to like and share inshallah we will meet in next video thanks for watching if you have any doubt regarding this video just post in my comment i will try my best